Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing the long-awaited Q&A. There's really nothing more to be said, it's a Q&A video, so let's begin. Fives Fudge not a freak out. Was he hell-bent on getting sweets because he was nervous about his mission with the board, or as a quick super change to his powers? I think you mean supercharge. Uh, that's one of the things that our showrunner Steve Blackman writes in is that whether it's coffee or some sort of sweet, Five is looking for ways to sort of boost his energy because saving the world requires stamina, I suppose. Five easily pins Lila during their first fight and in the second fight he is able to throw her off when their roles are reversed. So exactly how strong is Five, especially while in his teen body? I think we haven't seen the extent of how powerful Five is, and as seasons go on, you will definitely see him get stronger and stronger, especially as his body gets stronger. But Five's DNA was bonded with that of all the most murderous, vicious assassins and serial killers throughout history. So it's in his DNA to be aggressive and chaotic, and his own insanity that came from the apocalypse sort of combines with that of the serial killer insanity, so he's always suppressing this, he's always quelling rage. In terms of how strong he is physically, I don't know. Pretty strong. I mean, he can take down a lot of people, but that may just be his skill set and his rage. So, I don't know. Bounce it out. How is it for you to write a song? What's going on in your head? What do you feel? Love your songs. All of them are so beautiful. Congrats. Thank you. The way it works for me is it starts on the guitar. I'll do what I call Ouija board playing, where I just play whatever comes to mind on the guitar, and occasionally out of that, a riff will fall out. I develop the riff, I see where it can go, and then once I have a riff and can look at what the tonality of the melodic composition is, I can understand what concept will best suit that song. Other times, I'll be emotionally driven by something that's going on in my life. I'll write about it and then bring it to a riff, but most of the time, I get inspired based off of the actual music. That's how it works for me. Everyone's different. What are you doing in quarantine? Are you bored? I make music in quarantine. I make videos. Other than that, pretty much the regular stuff you guys are doing. How long do you typically practice your lines for? We'll get a script and I'll read through every detail of the script as if I were watching it. Then a few weeks later, we're gonna shoot the scene. And a day before you shoot the scene, you get a call sheet for what scene you will be shooting. So I take a look the night before at the scenes that I'm gonna be performing tomorrow. And then in the morning, I wake up, I begin to look at the scenes and I learn it as I'm having breakfast on the car ride over. So it takes me about from the time that I have my coffee to the time that I arrive on set. I'm learning my lines on the drive in. I got headphones in, I'm looking at the phone, I'm looking out the window like a crazy person, figuring out the vocal inflection, the facial expressions, basically how I want the lines to come across. I wouldn't recommend that for every project. It seems to work for Umbrella Academy because I know the character well enough that it gives me enough time to learn the dialogue, but it keeps me from over-practicing and wearing out the delivery. And that's a big part of being an actor, is managing how fresh and how authentic you can deliver your lines because obviously there's the optimal performance but then there's also what can you deliver so you kind of have a limited amount of times that you can actually say something the right way before you just can't do it anymore so yeah i learned my lines on the drive-in it seems i'm out of water i'm gonna end the q a here thanks for watching the video everybody leave a like subscribe hit the bell for notifications there are plenty of questions here so there will be a part two to this video i'll see you guys next time bye everybody Hey, sorry for the interruption, I want to talk to you guys about my new Patreon website. For those who don't know, Patreon is a platform that allows me to connect with my fans in a way that I couldn't before. My social media has now become too big, and I get thousands of DMs every day. So Patreon allows me to focus on the fans that really want a closer connection. And Patreon is a paid membership, thus it's not really for casual fans and followers. We have three levels of membership. First level gets you exclusive content like photos, videos, and message boards. You also get access to content before it becomes public, so. The first level also allows you to vote on what type of content you want to see. DM me to post comments on Patreon-only message boards. Instagram is now too big for me to keep track of, and so by becoming a patron, you enter the select group of people whose comments I can actually read. The second level, in addition to all of the benefits of level one, gets you exclusive VIP access to YouTube live streams that only patrons can see. On these live streams, I'll be talking to fans, answering questions, and performing songs. The third level. The third level is something special. In addition to all the benefits of levels one and two, 
level three patrons get exclusive access to my private Discord group chat. I'll be talking with level three patrons every Saturday following the release of a YouTube video, but I'll also be in and out of the group chat throughout the week. I like talking to you guys. Level three patrons also get to be part of randomly selected giveaways. This is a new idea, but I do have tons of personal items like shirts, hoodies, ball caps, music stuff. Not merch, but actual personal items that I will sign and take a picture with before sending the signed item along with the signed picture to you in whatever country of the world mail will go to. I also have boxes of stuff from the Umbrella Academy and NRDD, so if you guys want a chance to receive any of it, level three is where you want to be. Level three patrons can also make special requests, so say if you want a phone call or Zoom call one-on-one, -on -one, I can make that one of the giveaways. However, I should mention that there is a limit on the amount of people who can become level three patrons. So if you want in, you should hit the link in the description before it runs out. The beauty of this is that whatever you can think of, we can create a world for that on Patreon. And membership is monthly, so you can come and go or change your level at any time. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, you can hit the link in the description to visit my Patreon site and see if this is right for you. Bye, everybody.